Tom from Wisconsin. My co-host Mika. Oh, I got another one too. Let's uh, let's get her in it. <laughs> She's cleaning the other dog or something. Well, it's pretty messed up. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's see here. What do we got on a uh, plate for today? All right. So today, what I want to do is I want to take uh, the vigil ante there. And I want to put some different kind of, well, really what I started off uh, uh, wondering was uh, which which pointed pellet, <clears throat> either the daisy or the crossman, would penetrate uh, cardboard <clears throat> more, uh, more layers of cardboard. So then, uh, so anyways, we're going to do that. Uh, and shooting it out of the vigilante and then I'm gonna throw in a couple more pellets here I'm gonna throw in uh oh boy, what are these called again let's see here well to be honest uh, right offhand I forgot what the name of these is it uh the red flame or something like that I want to say I know they're gamo uh, it doesn't say on the package uh, what they're called are they uh, maybe red flame or red fire maybe they're called red fire I think they might be called the red fires Anyway, sorry about that. I forgot and got no way to look it up right now. Um, and then I was going to shoot these silent cats. So they're all kind of a, a pointed pellet here. I'll get you a, a view of the actual pellets here. You can see they're all similar in the fact that they're all pointed. So the red flame or red fire, whatever that was called, that one actually turns into a hollow point. So it's kind of like a pointed and a hollow point. Kind of a strange pellet. Kind of a hybrid or whatever you call it. Alright, so anyway, um, like I said, shooting out of the Vigilante. I believe I have six layers of cardboard lined up. There are pizza rounds again. In fact, I'm reusing some of the same ones. And then I got a couple new ones in there. And yeah, we'll see which one penetrates furthest. One seven seven pointed pellet. Out of the Vigilante. Let's see if I need to focus here. There we go. All right, I'm gonna load it up, and I'll get you one more picture of the gun put together, and then we'll go fire them. All right, loaded and ready to go. There's that shot of the gun put together. So all together, I got uh, six layers there. You may recognize some of them rounds from previous videos. All right, here we go. I'm gonna. The first one is gonna be the Daisy pointed, then the Crossman pointed, then that Gamo. I believe it's Red Fire. Maybe it's Red Flame. I can't remember. Um, and then I'm gonna shoot the Gamo Silent Cat last. All right, here we go. All right, got that tape peeled off. <clears throat> Ready to start peeling it apart. Um, first, I want to say I did a paper plate test one time, and I'm not sure if I included all these pellets in that test or not. I may have. So that's maybe kind of a repeat, but <clears throat> this test specifically is about pointed pellets and which one will shoot best out of the Vigil Ante for penetration is what I'm looking for. So that's exactly what I'm trying to do with this video here. So anyway, let's uh, look at the results here. Um, so over here I got the daisy pointed and the crossman pointed, then the red flame or red fire, whatever it's called. Either way, it's an RF, huh? And the silent cat. So I'm going to start peeling back these. So on to layer five. One, two, three, four. Still got all four going. Surprised if we didn't find any pellets in here somewhere. Wow. Okay. Uh, yeah, this might be a retake, but why would you ask that? No, anyway, um, so I was started off with uh, six layers, and I think uh, I was just shooting right through them. So now I went to 11 layers of cardboard here. Hopefully we can contain these pellets. So I want to see which one goes furthest, but we'd like to contain them. 
All right, so give us another shot here. Daisy pointed. Crossman pointed. Gamo read something. And the Gamo silent cat. All right, tapes off. Start separating or peeling back a layer at a time, anyway. All right, so let's get to it. First uh, layer here. Remember where the holes are. Here, I'll show them to you one more time. Daisy, Crossman, the Red, and the Silent Cat was last. All right, here we go. Fourth layer off. So fifth layer. Ooh, a little bit of leftover pizza. Hungry. So we will pull off the sixth layer. We're looking at the seventh layer. Yeah, still got holes going on here. Now you can see why I had to redo this. I started with six layers. That wasn't uh, holding up. Okay, so we still got everything going through here. Well, wow. Should have used more cardboard, guys. It went through all 11 of them. All of them did. I'm surprised. Well, now we know. Okay. Um, I guess I'm going to continue this test in a second. <laughs> All right. Let me get some more cardboard or see if I can find some or something. I don't know. Yeah, I don't even know if I have any more pizza rounds. Hmm. I'll get creative. I'll come back and think of something. Boy. Anyway. So, what I have here is... Uh, I have 11 uh, pizza things cut in half. So now we have 22 layers. All right. Let me give this another shot. Um, I might, uh, I didn't tape all my holes this time. I figure, you know, hopefully we'll just miss all the holes. I don't know. We'll find out what happens. But uh, basically, I just want to see how many layers this gets through. So, all right. Let's go shoot this a third time. Nah. And hopefully we get some results this time. Third time's a charm, right? Okay. Uh, once again, Daisy pointed, Crossman pointed, uh, Gamo red something or another, red flame, red fire, I'm not sure. Uh, and then Gamo silent cat. Here we go. Round three. All right, meet you at the result table. All right, back for the third time. Hopefully, it was the last time. Um, 22 layers. So, I got it all on taped. Uh, you saw the shots. Here we go. We're going to start peeling off right away. So, here's layer one, layer two, layer three, layer four. Layer five and six. There. Whoa, five. Six. Layer seven. Layer eight. Let's get one layer at a time here. Layer nine. Layer ten. Uh oh, sticking together. I mean, there's a pellet in there. I don't know. Here, I, I'm going to need two hands for this one. I'll pause it for a second. All right, so we're looking at layer 10. <clears throat> and as I pull off layer 10, you can actually start to see some pellets here. Let's see if I can get it focused. 
Looks like uh, over here they may have continued passing through, but uh, over here they started the step. Let's see what happens when we pull this layer off. It looks like this. Looks like those two pellets are going to come with that one. So, so layer, what is that, 10 or 11? I'm going to have to recount, but anyway, that's where those two both stopped, which would be the Silent Cat and the Gamo Red something or another. So Silent Cat, Gamo Red, Red something or another. All right, I'm going to count these layers quick just so we know. So, yes, uh, those two pellets came out in the 11th layer. They went into the 11th layer. And that's where they got stuck anyway, the pellets. However, I'm not sure if these dents are, I think these two dents, I think, yeah, so they might have uh, penetrated a little further. And then sometimes the pellets go in all the way and then they bounce back a little bit. I don't know. So anyway, we'll see how far they penetrated too. I'm not sure that those are the holes. I'm thinking they are. And it looks like that's where that stopped anyway. So they did not go through the next layer. Nothing, no holes or nothing. So over here though, these two are continuing. So that was layer 12 I just took off. The layer 13 off. Layer 14 off. And I can, I believe I see a pellet in there. So that would be the crossman. See if it comes off in this layer. I think it probably will. Yes. And again, I forgot what layer on. What is it? 14? Oh, let me count again. So I counted. Actually, we're in layer 15. Good thing I counted. Anyway, uh, layer 15. That's where the daisy ended. Well, yeah, that's where the pellet is. Layer 15. Layer 16, it's still left a hole. And this one's still going, the daisy pointed. So we're taking off layer 16. And here in layer 17 is your champion, the daisy pointed. So for penetration, the daisy pointed shoots best out of my vigilante. Huh, interesting, pretty cool. How many layers was that? 17, 18, something like that? Crazy, here I get one more count. All right, so I think that's in layer 17. 17 layers of cardboard. Uh, it's a decent cardboard, I mean, it's the bottom of pizza or whatever. Oh, they're not like super thin or nothing, they're just regular pieces of cardboard I think. Well, not quite like a box. I don't know. Yeah, I guess. Depends what kind of box you got, right? Anyway, pretty normal cardboard. Um, so I took a little more work than I expected. <laughs> I started off with six. I needed way more than that. All right. Well, that's kind of good news, right? It means uh, the pellet's penetrating pretty good. So 17 layers. Wow. That's pretty cool. Um, anyway, uh, you've seen the results. So it is what it is. Tom from Wisconsin, Everything Air Guns, checking out. Uh, by the way, I keep forgetting to tell you guys lately, subscribe! <laughs> Alright, uh, please like, subscribe, leave a comment, all that. Alright, see you next time. Take care. Alright, just one last thing. Um, I didn't dig the pellets out and look at the, uh, the deformation, but there, because it's a vigilante, there really isn't a lot of deformation. It doesn't shoot them uh, quite as fast as some of the other guns do. Um, I'm sure if we looked real close, there might be some deformation. But anyway, they really didn't. There they are in order, the same order. In fact, that's the order they uh, ranked in also. Uh, whoops, I don't know if I can get my pointer in there. <laughs> So that's a Daisy, Crossman, Gamo, Red Whatever, and Silent Cat. It's also, this one penetrated the furthest, second furthest, and these two both tied for, uh, I guess you call it last place. Alright, uh, that's all I got for you. Tom from uh, Wisconsin, everything here goes. Take care, guys.